Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jess and today I'm going to be sharing my experience with the heroic dose of shrooms. Um, now, I filmed this little kind of like short little intro video um, to on the day of that I did it because I did it yesterday. Um, so I'm just going to share that with you guys and then afterwards I'm going to share how it all went down. So without further ado, let's get into it. Good morning, you guys. So it is officially December 21st, 2021, and I lost my blunt. <laughs> um, and um, I am about to do the heroic dose of shrooms. Well, in a second. Um, but I wanted to kind of like record not the whole experience because I tried it before it didn't work out um, but I'm going to record you know what happens after and kind of share um, how my experience went now the most that I've done before was 3.22 grams um, so and this one's exactly 5.03 grams um, so this is a heroic dose and it's supposed to be like very very good and strong and not only that but i'm doing the albino penis envy stream so that is one of the best of the best and i put it into i made it into a little smoothie bar um i usually do little chocolate bars but since it's so early in the morning it's 8 a.m right now um i figured i might as well do it into something kind of like nutritious um and then i also feel like fruit kind of enhances the shrooms a little bit not like we need it because we're doing five grams anyways, but um, might as well be healthy with it. Um, so yeah, um, this is me before. And you know, when I come out of this, I am expecting to be basically a different person, a better version of me. Um, so I'm very excited because every time that I've done shrooms, I feel like that's kind of what happened. Um, so this is just going to be amplified and i think what better way to do this than on the sol solstice <laughs> um the 21st and um i think that i'll be able to see a whole lot more um whoa you see <laughs> um that's really cool so you know we already have cool stuff happening already december 21st 2020 about to do the heroic dose of shrooms let's get it that's my angels right there supporting me <laughs> all right so first things first do not do not do a shroom smoothie bar really don't do a shroom smoothie anything um because fruit um definitely amplifies uh i would say the effect maybe mm, questionable but the taste it amplifies the taste a lot a lot okay um i was not able to eat that smoothie bar like i thought i ended up making a waffle and i just like put it on the waffle i had i didn't know what the fuck to do with it but i knew i had to eat it because the shrooms were all in there um so i put it on a waffle it ended up working out because it kept me on a nice full stomach but i do have to give that disclaimer do not do that because it was not a good idea <laughs> it was cute though but it was not a good idea um so basically like i explained i did the albino penis envy and um this was actually i've tried the, the first time that i've ever tried shrooms was with the albino penis envy strain and i have always been told that it is very strong um and then i've tried actually two other strains and i definitely see the albino penis envy is a very strong strain for sure it did not take long for it to hit me um i would say maybe like 20 30 minutes and i started to kind of started started to feel the effects and what i started to feel was i just felt really light and you know just i don't know how to explain that i just feel very light <laughs> and um um, I started to uh, see, I always see, get like a kaleidoscope type vision um, when I when I really get into, with the higher dose that I do, the more visual effects that I get. So obviously with the five grams, um, I saw a lot of kaleidoscope shapes. And then I saw like, 
it was almost like some lines with like little dots at the end like a line for that line for that and um it was almost like mm, it, like i can see energies which is really cool um so i planned on spending my whole day my whole shroom trip outside and that is exactly what i did um and i took the shrooms um with uh, a friend well two friends and this one girl i had just met her um but we just had like this really i don't know like i, I really was i liked her you know and um so while i was shrooming they were inside because they had no idea why i wanted to be outside but me i just know I, that's what i love i love to be in nature and i love to be in nature while i'm shrooming so it's just like perfect um so I set up outside, um, I had my yoga mat, I had my crystal, I had my pendulum, I had my journal. I always think that I'm going to write something when I'm on shrooms, but I always forget that literally everything, every, you can see that everything has energy, everything is vibrating. So it's really hard to write because it's like everything is moving because when you're on shrooms, that's one of the biggest realizations that you um, make is that everything has life in it even like these things that are we think that are, are inanimate objects they all have like energy to them so everything's vibrating so i um, went into the bathroom and i can see the pattern on the wood floor you can see it like moving <laughs> um and then also my clothes like i can see them moving as well so i it, everything has energy like that's what you notice um now um when i when i went outside i can see kind of like the grass like breathing you can see the life in the grass um i i can see all the the shapes within my in my skin like i don't know how to explain it it's just like this beautiful pattern that um a lot of people's every pretty much everyone i don't know i i've kind of noticed that people's patterns look a little different but like everyone has a pattern on their skin um it's really beautiful i don't even it's it looks almost like um i'm pretty sure it's a it's like a, a there is a there's a picture for it i know there is but it looks like just like a flower almost um it's really beautiful my whole trip was beautiful honestly um i definitely cried <laughs> i laughed um but so while i was outside for a little bit i was like just kind of like chilling by myself and usually a lot of times when i start to shift into like the shroom mode things get a little dizzy like you know i get a little motion sick because it's just like a lot of movement going on um but one really cool thing that i noticed was that i had been working on grounding myself and just um letting go of control because i was realizing holding on to control is the reason why i get motion sick so easy and so i just let everything go with the flow and i noticed that i didn't get motion sick which is really cool um one of my friends told me that sometimes when you take shrooms um you will like throw up and i had thrown up like two other times and he says it's just to, like get rid of you're just like getting rid of that that negative energy or whatever so you can enjoy your trip and um it was really interesting because this time i didn't throw up but i came inside and i just felt the need to like i wanted to shower i was two seconds away from showering but i didn't want to leave my friends like wondering like what the fuck um so i didn't shower but i literally like stripped off all my clothes like everything had to go and i put on something completely new and then i went back outside and then it was amazing but it was so funny because i was like hmm it wasn't like i didn't throw up but i did kind of like strip something else it was like kind of like that energy that negative energy i wanted to boom, get away um so that's very interesting i don't know if anyone uh, if you've ever done shrooms like if there's something that you experience that's kind of similar to that like if there's something that you kind of just realize that you do it kind of every time you know um what else so one of my friends 
um, had came to like see me outside when they finally were came outside uh, the girl she was like wow at first I had no idea why you wanted to be out here I thought you were crazy but now I see why it's beautiful and we we're just you know like laying in the grass and talking and um, it just felt so good to actually be able to talk to someone how I want to talk to someone, you know, um, I really just love deep conversations. And I feel like a lot of people run from those deep conversations. They don't want to have them. They, I don't know why, or maybe they're just shy. I don't know, but I love those type of conversations. And there's nothing better than talking like that when you're on shrooms because people are more open. And, um, that's exactly what happened. And there was even a moment where, you know, um, she was like, uh, She's like, she was like, man, I don't know. I just, I feel like I need a big hug. And I was like, well, come here. And I like gave her a hug. You know, we were just fucking hugging in the grass. Um, and it was just beautiful. Like, I, I don't know. I, even myself, I say that, you know, I don't, people never want to have these deep conversations, but it also, I learned that, you know, that's kind of myself too. I never hug my friends sometimes. I never let them like, let them touch me you know and, and not in a sexual way but just in like a loving way how you love your sister you know your friends you know whatever like um I realized that and I was like damn you know um we just had all these this amazing conversation and then um it was just pretty funny because my dog I have two dogs but my girl dog she was out there she was in that feminine energy and she was just like you know just absorbing it all it was just amazing just all that good energy and then um but it came a time where the girl she wanted to go inside because she wants to be with her boyfriend and I was like that's fine um so she's like but thank you so much like I really enjoyed this time and it was just I don't know I felt like almost like a like a spiritual like a wizard or something that just like helps someone and then you know it's like okay off off on your way now <laughs> with all this wisdom you know and and it was mutual you know we both exchange it, we both exchanged knowledge with each other we like you know whenever i have a conversation with someone it's a two-way street where i'm learning from them as well as they're learning from me and um I don't know it was just funny because she walked away and my dog like she just like laid by me and she's just like watched her walk away and I was like our job is done here <laughs> I don't know it's just it was just really beautiful um I feel like every time that I do shrooms I kind of have a bonding moment with um someone or something in my life usually someone um and the first time I was on shrooms, I had a, I loved on my cat for like an hour in the bathroom. We were just, I was just in the bathroom with my cat, loving on him. And, um, and um, one of the other times that I was on shrooms, um, I was by myself. So I was, that was more of like, I, I found myself really reflecting on all the people that I've met and how they've kind of like influenced me or really just thinking about all the different people I've met and like what are they doing right now you know it's just it was a loving energy and then um another time it was focusing on my boyfriend and I just wanted to love on him like uh, everything he was doing I want to watch him do it like he was fucking tying his shoes I want to watch him tie it like oh my gosh you're so good at tying that shoe like it was just that and I don't know <laughs> it was funny um so this time though um i did have a bonding moment with the girl that was my friend but um i had an amazing bonding moment with my dog um that was out there with me nala and it was just so beautiful because like she was just kind of like laying on my lap or kind of laying on me and um i was just petting her and my head was my head was on my 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 leg like this and her, and she, her body was like down here and i just started crying like i don't know why i just you know you just start thinking about everything and it and just i just started crying like i feel like it's a very good release they say you know that you have when you take the heroic dose you kind of become your own therapist and you know how to solve your own problems and um i don't know i i think i cried though because i was just so happy and just so grateful and i was overwhelmed with joy i don't know 
Um, but I was crying and I just was letting the tears fall on her to fall on her and I was just kind of like wiping them in her fur and um, it was funny because it was like she she was fine with it and then all of a sudden she got up like all right that's enough crying for you now <laughs> and I was like you're right you're right um, so I wiped the tears away or whatever and then um, we were just I was just back there like just looking at up into the sky and the sky just looks so beautiful like I, there were so much many beautiful shapes in the sky and um I don't know it was just I feel like I learned just to be so grateful for everything that I have in my life which I already was but it's just like it just I just feel so grateful I felt so grateful for my mindset because so many people and even myself in the past have wanted more and more and more not even realizing that everything is great no matter what situation you have you can make the best out of it and I don't know I was just I felt so blessed because not a lot of people can see life like that a lot of people struggle so hard to see the good you know they just focus so much on the pot on the negative <laughs> they focus so much on the negative and I'm just, I was just overwhelmed, like so grateful because like, wow, that's a gift to be able to see <laughs> the positive. Like that's literally like, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. And um, I was just like laying down, like cuddling with my dog and it, it was just so good it lasted it lasted a few hours honestly like i think i took the shrooms at like maybe like nine or something and i feel like it kind of finally wore off at like five i feel like a lot of the times when people take shrooms they they have kind of very similar lessons everyone gets these same kind of lessons when you take shrooms it's just always you know people learn things differently say things differently different perspective but it's all kind of the same general message and it's beautiful i think that that's all that i had to share from this trip um if you were thinking about doing the heroic dose i would definitely say do it um my recommendations are to do it either by yourself or with people that you trust and definitely recommend um, being outside in nature by yourself though, like in your backyard um, type of thing, or if you're like secluded somewhere, um, camping somewhere, that would be kind of cool. I wanna do that too. Um, but that was what I would recommend. But um, yeah, I think that is all that I had to share about my heroic dose of shrooms. If you guys like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is that soul glow. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.